Hello again. Well, I made my way out of Vancouver this morning at five o'clock and I've headed north of Highway 99. I had a nice slow drive and I've pulled up at a place called Joffrey Lakes, which is where I was heading today. It's a lovely place. I've been here once before with friends from the UK a couple of months back, but I brought a long lens, so I didn't get any landscape shots. But what a spectacular place it is. The lakes are absolutely wonderful. It's about 180 kilometers from Vancouver. So I had a nice slow drive up, lovely. Bit of cloud cover, bit of mist in the valleys there. It was really nice. So I've came to this place and what can I say, it's absolutely amazing. Some nice mist over the, the lake here. So I'm gonna try for some photos. It's a concession of three lakes, lower lake, middle lake, and the upper lake. It's about five kilometer hike to the upper lake. So they say it gives three to three and a half hour hike, but I'd say I can do it in less. But it's gonna be hard work because I've got all the camera gear with us. So I'm just gonna have a slow walk up, do some photography on the way up, and I'll be able to show you the views. The lakes are absolutely amazing here. Well, I found myself a place here, perched on a log. As you can see, the tripod's in the water there. Uh, but this mist keeps rolling in and the sun keeps going in and out behind the cloud. Just wait until the sun goes behind some of the cloud and waiting for the mist to roll up over the trees there. But what a nice view, absolutely beautiful it is. I'm going to try this shot. I'm using the 10 stop because the sun's directly in front there. I'm using the 10 stop along with the graduated filter for the sky. That's giving us a 45 second exposure which should be long enough without blowing out the highlights. Well, I'm gonna try this shot and then I'm gonna head on further around the lake. Well, I'm on my ascent up to Middle Lake now. I left Lower Lake because the two of this started to arrive, so it was my cue to leave. They say it takes three and a half hours to get to the top here, hoping it takes less. But the lakes are really worth the hike. When you get to the top, you'll see the water's turquoise blue. Uh, the light when I was down there was quite harsh and the sun was in front of us. So that's why the 10 stop came in handy. Helped us block out all the light. So I'll see you guys again at the top.
Well, I've made it here up to Middle Lake and it's actually started to snow. It started to snow when I just got over halfway there. I'm pleased it only took us two hours. It didn't take us a three and a half hours at the say. Uh, so that's good. It's give us more time up here. So I've been having a little look around the lake and I found this composition here of a bush and a log to the side of it. That's going to make a nice foreground with the lake in the midground and then the backdrop of the uh, mountains there. I've also had to uh, clean some debris out the way. It's always good to have a look around your shot and see if there's any distractions. It makes it easier in post. So I've set up this shot here uh, on 100 ISO. I'm using the graduated filter just to try and bring some detail out in the mountains there. I've got the little stopper in just to extend the exposure, try and get the lake like glass. And uh, it's on F10. So we'll see how this works out. I'm gonna have another Ratch about, look for some more compositions. It's uh, it's really nice, it's an amazing place. I'm hoping that we'll get the sun back because the sun's gone for now and got, it's clouded over a bit because when the sun shines on the lake, it's absolutely amazing. It's turquoise blue. And then we'll head up to the top lake and see what we can see up there. I can't believe how cold it's got. It's, uh, the sun hasn't came back out, unfortunately. We'll try it out some shots there. Hopefully we've got a couple, I think. I'll let you decide, decide which ones you like the best. So I'm heading up to the top lake now. Uh, I think it's about a 30 minute walk from here. It's quite amazing how quick the weather can change. You know, the weather down at the bottom there was lovely. It's really warm. And uh, I've just made it up to the top here, and it's just totally changed. We've got snow, we've had hail, a little bit of rain, I think. So we're going to make our way up to the top lake. Hopefully find some more pictures, some more shots. Uh, but I'm really enjoying it. Well I'm here up at the top lake and unfortunately the weather's got a little bit worse. As you can see, you can probably see behind us there, it's clouded over now, it's been raining on and off. And uh, I'm really struggling for the composition to tell you the truth. It's still nice all the same, it's, it's beautiful. It's actually started to rain again now so... But I've had a really good day out so I'm going to head back down because I think the weather's going to get worse now. Uh, but if you've liked my vlog, I much appreciate it if you subscribe or give us a thumbs up and then you get to see more of this. Thanks again.